Hey, NerdKing101 here. If you liked the video, please give it a like. You can follow me on Twitter, which is linked in the description box down below. And if you would like to see more videos like this one, you can support the channel by donating to my PayPal, which is linked in the description box down below. Hey guys, NerdKing101 here. I haven't done one of these in years, but uh, chapter review, I guess. I don't really know what number it is, but the number I've seen thrown around is six. 57 of Bleach <laughs> after a, uh, hold on, a five year hiatus. We've been on hiatus for five years. Wasn't even supposed to be a hiatus, but show got canceled. This is wild to me that there's more Bleach. And I kind of just wanted to get my overall thoughts on the chapter. I'm going to be doing some more recording later tonight, but I really wanted to get this out and just talk about it. I do want to warn everybody of spoilers, because the official translations are not out, and this is not an in-depth review. I am not a Bleach guy. I am not a Bleach guy. Whenever I talk about this show, I am not a Bleach expert. I will probably be doing stuff with this, because I do miss doing uh, chapter reviews. So when I catch up to One Piece, My Hero, and when this comes out, I do want to talk about those chapters occasionally. But yeah, let's talk about Bleach. Um, couple of things with Bleach, first of all. Uh, the artwork is great. I also like how it's not as lazy. Like, there are still a lot of places where there's no background, but there's also a lot of background. It, just, it feels a lot more detailed, it feels like a lot more work went into it, and um... I think looking at this, I think the five-year break did a lot of good for Kubo. And I can honestly see more mangaka doing this. Like, they hit the end point of the main story and they wanted to come back later. Like, I could see Kichimoto coming back in like five years and be like, I'm gonna do more Naruto. I could definitely see Kichimoto doing that. But back to the point is, is that, um, this is really good stuff. And I never thought I would be at a point when I'm catching back up to One Piece and reading Bleach again. Is it, it feels wild. It, it really inspired me to finish my One Piece catch up and read all of Wano because, wow. I'm kind of just in shock right now. Like, I'm shocked that this happened. I'm shocked that this transpired. I'm just kind of blown away. Like, I knew this was coming out. I knew there was going to be a chapter, but I made no note of it. I was like, yeah, it'll be a police chapter. I'll read the police chapter. I'll move on with my life. You know what I mean? That's just kind of what I expected to happen. I mean, that would always happen with Bleach. It's like, oh, be honest, they coming back. Neat. I'll watch the anime. Maybe I'll do a theory review for it when it's over. And then we get this. I think on Twitter there's gonna be more bleach. I'm li I'm li I'm working. I'm working, and I look down at my thing, and I see more bleach, and I'm like, not ridiculous. So I I move on with my life. I'm like that that ridiculous. Twitter wrong. Is it good? Is it like that time in 2015 when they said the anime was coming back, and the time they did that in 2015? 2017, 2018, and until it finally happened in 2019. I guess the crap had been going on for years with Bleach. And then I read a chapter by Kubo, and I start reading, and I'm like, okay, yeah, this is what I expect. This is, like, I'm like, this is kind of what I expect in the beginning. I'm like, you know, we learn more about Ichigo. We learn that Ichigo had the job. Thank God. Because the final chapter is 656. It's very unclear if Ichigo had the damn job. Does he live with his dad? Who, like, is he a doctor now? What is going on? <laughs> Not only being a doctor doesn't feel very Ichigo to me, um, we learn, no, Ichigo is a translator, which is really neat. That means he also probably had to go to college to do that. Especially because he's Japanese, so he probably had to go to college. I mean, Ichigo went to college, um, he, he's a court married to Orohime, Orohime, and they have a son named Kazui, I believe his name is. Kazui is, no, we'll get to Kazui. We'll get to Kazui later. But, uh, He's married to Orohime, which is, what's it, like, weird? It, 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 it didn't really like, weird. You're like, when Naruto, there was, like, a ton of extra content, and I had to do it, the fandom kind of had time to adjust. I and mean, we kind of had time to be like, okay, Naruto's married to Hinata now. Like, Naruto's a married man now. It, like, we found out they were married, and it was used in, like, a gag in the last chapter, and then it was over. Like, Orohime and Ichigo being married played no relevance in the last chapter, besides that, they had a kid. Same thing with Renji and Rukia. So it's like, it's really weird seeing Rukia and Ichigo in those positions. 
if it, you know, it, Rookie Year needs to go up the main character to the show. Like, the like, Koopa makes that, like, they're, like, they're the two most important characters in the show. Their, their friendship is very important to the show. And so it's just weird thing to be parents. Like, weird. And, um, so Ichigo, though, his son has a son with Orihime, Kazui, Kurosaki, Rukia, and Renji have a kid whose name is Ichika Abarai, I believe. I forget if I'm pronouncing Renji's last name correctly. I also don't know if we actually have any confirmation that Rukia ch ch changed her last name, and it may, it could be a different situation. Like, everybody says her name is Ichika Abarai, but I'm like, is it really? I don't recall that, and what I do know is that Rookie is from a very important family, so it is, and there's no male heir. So it's entirely possible that Renji married into the Kuki family. So who knows, and the kid, the kid may be a Kuki, a Kuki, Kuchi, 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 I'm sorry, I, I can't, I could never easily say Rookie's last name, Rookie Kuki, whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, so, first of all, Let's just talk about the whole chapter in general. We'll get to kind of see where all the characters are. Ichigo friend Keigo, who had no idea what he wanted to do in life, so Oda just... Oda, damn it. And so you talk about One Piece and Naruto. So, um, Kubo... I'm gonna have to get used to saying that again. So, Kubo... So, Kubo created a, uh... How do I say it? So Kubo created just created something for him. He owns a ramen shop called Spirit Ramen, which is great. Um, and Ichigo is there. He's on the phone with Rukia. Urahara has apparently introduced smartphones and the internet to the Soul Society. Like they have Instagram, which we'll find out later from one of the new uh, like like captains who is like I love it. I love she's like a very modern hip like influencer girl who who is like. Take it, who wants to take a selfie with Ichigo and post it on Instagram, it's great. And, um, oh, sorry, I pulled a back muscle earlier, so when I lean back in my chair, it hurts, so I apologize for that. But, um, it's really good stuff. Um, that's great, but we learn a little bit about that. We get this really great interaction with Rookie and Ichigo, which is, once again, great. Like, we get to see that dynamic is still there. Like, what's, it also the dynamic Ichigo and Rukia has is very clearly meant to show that Ichigo and these people still talk. These are Ichigo's friends, and he still talks to them a lot. Like, even though he... So Ichigo's situation seems to be that he's a full-time translator. He's a full-time job. He's a father and a husband. And he's a substitute soul reaper. He's managed to learn how to balance it all. And what he does is he is a... And he's still friends with, like, Rukia and Renji and all the cat fans. He's still friends with everybody. To be honest, I don't know how many of these people he actually speaks to. Like... Like, I guess Renji, I, I feel like it's mostly Renji and Rukia. I mean, Rukia is, is full on his friend. I don't know if Renji's the kind of friend he talks to a lot, but I feel, I feel like he speaks to Renji a ton and he talks to Rukia a lot. But I think, I mean, it very heavily implies him and Rukia talk a lot, like they're still really good friends. But you, you get it through but the best joke in the chapter, which is R Rukia refuses to you, but you were models of phones. <laughs> so she's like, oh, I can see his face on it. That changes everything. And she's looking at the, uh, I'm just so happy. This is a great this chapter. It's so much fun. And he's looking at it, and she's like tilting it around. She, and uh, she's like, "Where's our He's like, "Do that home enjoy laundry." And we're getting flat out. It's like, "Oh, I see what I see the kind of I I see what's happening here." And you got you make your wife go stay home and do all the and do all the laundry while you go eat ramen. Is it called mortal harassment? And <laughs> from Ben joke in the chapter, and she goes like, "No, that's not what that is." And it's just such a classic. Belief Kubo joke. It's probably my favorite part of the chapter. But basically, they're going to the human world to do a ritual involving a cat, involving like hollows and cats into it died. It really doesn't matter. And then we get the big reveal, which is one of the guys. I think he's going to be a father. Like, I literally don't know his name. I don't remember who he is. But he's the guy who Renji fought. And I think, uh, Wicomundo? Yeah, the guy Wendy fought in Wicomundo shows up out of the, the gates of hell open and he appears. And that's where we kind of get into that, but... I, okay, first let me talk about Kazui. First of all, I told you, this is not an organized video. But Kazui, right? Kazui. Kazui is a weird kid. That kid is bizarre, and I don't like him. 
Like, I like it. I like him. I think I'm going to like hating him, but he's weird and creepy. Like, that kid scared me. His eyes are, like, stolen. He jumped out a window. And I don't know what in the flying Nimbus was going on with that magic cloud he floated on. Or how he can just turn into a Soul Reaper whenever he wants. Like, weird. Um, how do we weird? I do really like a Chica. She's cool. Like, I'm not super fun. She seems kind of generic, Sundere, Sundere little girl character. Tomboy little girl character. But she's fine. Like, she, she doesn't scare me. Kazumi, I don't know if he's meant to creep me out, but he does. Like, there's something about the way Kubo draws his eyes. He just appears like he has no soul. Like, look at Ichika, I'm like, oh, you have a soul. <laughs> that, that boy scared the crap out of me, and I've seen a lot of people that read this manga are like, yeah, Kazumi's creepy. <laughs> Which I think is really funny. But, um, Ichika is fine. There's a really weird comment with Major B, the translation I read, because my translation is unofficial. But, um, there's a really weird comment in here. A really weird comment by a chica when he's talking to her master. Like, I forget who her master is, but she makes a comment about Kazui and her a crush on him. And I'm like, okay, so, so Ichika and Kazui are like 10 and 8, right? I'm going to get that out of the way. You're like, you're, you're a really young kid. I'm hoping it's a translation error, or I'm hoping it leads into something else. I, I'm hoping... I, Please, I understand Boruto did something, like the Boruto started a thing, but like, Boruto had the kids be like 12. They're the same age, they're 12, and it's very childish, and they're like 12, bordering on 13, where kids are starting to develop crushes. This is like 10, not, like, Kazumi looks like he could be 7, and Ichigo looks like he could be 9. Like, like, they, they don't look very old. They look very, very young. They act young, especially Kazui act very young. And it, it made me a little uncomfortable. I'm hoping it's the translation thing. I'm really hoping it, once I read the Viz translation on Monday, it will be normal and can be. I'm I'm hoping, but it may not be. But I think Ichika, she seems cool. I really like the, I really like the concept for Ichika, that she's like a little girl who grew up... Uh, like, because she's Rukia kid, she's grown up, and because Rukia and Ichigo are so close, she's grown up, like, in both worlds. Like, she, like, goes to the living world a lot and has, like, a friend in Kazui in the living world. Like, that's a cool idea for a Soul Reaper character. I like that idea that Ichigo, via Rukia, kind of created this, like, bridge between... Like, Ichigo, it, it, they did that in the show, but it's interesting to see, like, a generational version of that. Where Ichigo just like bridge between the material world and the soul society. I think that's a really cool idea. Oh, there's so much great stuff in the chapter. I'm nervous to get to the complicated stuff. Oddly, I just realized like, we don't see Ichida, we don't see Chad, we don't see any of them. I mean, why would we see Chad though, right? <laughs> I mean, actually, yeah, but now that we didn't see Chad, so it's a private Chad had no Chad. Ch I wouldn't be surprised if we never see Chad. <laughs> but Ichida kind of surprised me at how big of a role Quincy played in uh, The Last Dark. But, um, the Quincy's, I mean. How long they all played and how much of the role they played. I figured we would see some Ichida. Also, be really popular, but we didn't. But, um, we only saw, like, I thought we only saw Byakuya, like, once. Which was, like, mind-blowing to me. I'm like, Byakuya is, like, the fan favorite character. I'm surprised, I'm surprised there wasn't, like, ten pages dedicated to that guy. Rookie, whatever, Rookie, I got screen time, and I guess they're kind of like, they clearly wanted to put po most of the focus on Rukia, Ichigo, Renji, and McKinn. Like, that's very clear. I think, or he may barely, in, or he may barely in the chapter. I really hope that's not a sign of what's to come. Like, I really hope they don't give or he may but he not this treatment where they're like, okay, story arc time, bye! Like, I don't like Orihime, but I, I think it would be very disappointing if she got kind of pushed to the side. I mean, Ichigo is clearly a really good family, like a family man, and it, well, I think it would be unfortunate if we kind of just blew off the pig wife entirely. I think we had a wife as a character that a lot of people like. Like, I'm not a big fan of Orihime, but a lot of people are, and I would like to see more of this older, more mature version of Orihime. I don't know what her job is. I think apparently one of the novels said she had like a cooking show or maybe she helped out in the clinic. I don't know. But whatever. Let's get into the meat. You know, spotted that Renji thought, fought in the Wikimundo arc. The gates of hell open. He comes out. We find out this whole thing and how like when certain Soul Reaper die, like captain level people die. 
They go, their spirits go to hollow die, the spot of die. Their spirits go to hell. And now the gates of hell are opening and they're coming and it's this whole thing. And yeah, it's really, like, we don't learn a ton about it. And like, I'm not really the most qualified to break it down, but basically, there's like a grading system to it. And when the captains or vice captains are in hollows and if Fada die, they'll go, some of them will go to hell. And now they're all coming back. And we do get reference to uh, Ugatake, who I, I guess is in hell, which will be awesome. Will we get to see Ugata Ugatake again? Meh. Also, this is a great chance for Kubo to show off all the Bankai he never got to show off. Like, we, well, listen, let's be honest here, Ugatake Bankai, we'll probably get to see that, hopefully. We're going to get a ton of Bankai. I'm just, I'm, I'm super satisfied with where this arc is, where this is like going. Um, I do think we're going to need some clarification on Ichigo's power. Be like, Ichigo, but the chains are going at Renji, and he, like, blasts in and cuts the chain with Zangetsu. Zangetsu looks slightly different, of course, it has a redesign, it's an always dud. But it's like, did Ichigo have all the power? Did he have Quincy power? Did he have any power? What are his powers? How strong is he? Is he a god? Is he, like, god? Is he, like, a top-tier god character? Is he, like, a cat? Is he, like, he was during the Soul Society arc? Where is he? How strong is he? I don't understand. Stand, be it you have stole his powers, but then time travel, and oh my god, I don't like Yuha. I don't like thinking about Yuha, it confuses me greatly. But, um, yeah, I think we're looking to ask something super interesting here. This, this, uh, belief arc. I want to know about Ichigo powers, and besides for that, I want to see where it goes. I do kind of want to see what they do with, uh, Kazui, of course. The interesting little handicap that the Soul Reapers all have right now is that Ichika wanted to, she wanted to see Kazui, so she snuck into the world of the living with all the captains and vice captains for the ceremony, like the ceremony they're performing to honor, they're all in, the, in Karakuta town, so like, the form of ceremony to honor the dead from uh, the South of the Blood War arc, and some of the dead captains I mean, and Kazui is in the world of the living, honestly, so Ichika Wants to go see her friend, so she snuck in, and now she got involved in the fight. She was also the only one to notice the battle. Like, to notice the gateway when it first appeared. She, she yelled out, Father, and then Renji can attacks. Or we get to meet a couple new vice captains who you can read the chapter to find out about. They're cool. One of the one thing that stuck out to me, though, is one of them is mute. He cannot talk. And he uses sign language. And his Zombok toe is like, it look, kind of looks like Renji's, but then it like, the parts that break, will break off, like, spawn, like, white dope birds to like, attack somebody. It's like, it's, it's super cool. I forget what the Zombok toe, what its name is, but it's awesome. I, I was like, I was on board. I was like, first of all, the idea of a mute Soul Reaper is such a cool idea. Like, somebody who can't talk, that had, because you have a whole thing, and then you have to say your store's name. Because then you have to have like an actual, your sword is like alive, and you like say its name, you call on its power, blah blah blah. So that's really cool to me, that he's mute, that, that's dope. Um, there's, just, there's so many awesome things to say about this chapter, but uh, it's also worth doing that Kazui can like open portals into the Soul Society, I think? He can like open portals into the Soul Society, and he like Kazuki has a ton of weird power. Kazuki weird, but then again, Ichigo Ichigo stun. So <laughs> Ichigo stun being a genetic abomination. It's not surprising to anyone. <laughs> Ichigo Ichigo's alone already like a genetic mess. So the fact that it's got kind of some weird like Jesus see gaudy genetic abomination is it shouldn't be surprising to anyone. That kid, is, like, if it's not that that kid has like, weird magic special powers, it's not surprising to me at all. Especially if you consider him doing the thing he did where he killed Yuha at the end. We also don't know where Aizen is. So that's a thing. But, um, who knows what Aizen's doing. But, how do we have that weird, have some weird powers, and then Ichika would be the only person who could see. So, are Ichika and Rookie, Rookie and King going to be special? I don't know. I don't know if they're hyping them up to have special powers. Like, Something like Karma from Boruto, I don't know. Um, it's gonna be fascinating to see. Once again, I wanna go back to, we don't know. We don't know. We're our Lord and Savior. I hurt my back. I would cry and see like a thing to introduce our Lord and Savior Aizen. We don't know where Aizen is. <laughs> I just, well, I, I, is there one thing I can get in this show is I want more Aizen. I want more Aizen so badly. Like, Kubo. Kubo, Kubo. 
Forget the Bankai. Just show me Aizen's Bankai. Show me Aizen. That's all I want in life. It's Aizen. That's all I want is more Aizen. I love that guy. I got, I got Aizen to troll. Can we just get Aizen? Like, can we just get Kandekin and Tassar of Aizen trolling a villain? Or even the main character. They troll Ichigo some more. I don't care. Ruin Ichigo's life a third time. I don't care. I just love Aizen. Aizen's hilarious. Like, I like Aizen. If you don't take Aizen seriously, he's a lot of fun. But, um, no. This, this set of chapter was really fun. Um, you know, once again, a lot of the stuff is just from, that I had to say about it. Less, less is from the old stuff from the epilogue chapter, like, you know, that I had just forgotten about. I had forgotten that Ichigo, uh, that Rukio's kid, Rukio's daughter, was named Ichika, as a reference to Ichigo, which I think it's really cute and cool. I think it's really neat that Rukio named her kid after Ichigo. Um, Kazu, we don't know what that's a reference to. I think it's the name. But I also like how the, how the, how the child with a reference to Ichigo is Rukio's daughter, not his kid. Like, it's not like Boruto, it's like, and it's named Boruto, like, Naruto, it's like, like, no, it's his really close friend named a kid, named her daughter after him, and he just named, and it's, like, it's not like some weird ego thing where Ichigo named a kid after himself, I also like that Ichigo, it's a good dad, there is no, like, Boruto, Naruto thing where he's like, I'm really busy being a substitute soul reaper, he's like, no, I'm a dad, and like, Ichigo's a father, and he has a job, but he's like, that clue, his, his, his main priority is clearly his wife and his kid. He's clearly not interested in any of the other crap. He's not like some like die-hard, dedicated, like, my dream has always been to be a sensitive soul reaver, and I have this life-bound duty to sacrifice anything to protect Carter. No. He's like, no. I'm a married man with children, <laughs> and I'm mature enough to, like, focus on that. And I'm sure there's other people who help out in Karakura, Especially considering the fact that it's implied Renji and Rukia visit a lot. So I would not be surprised if, like, when it's, like, they, like, do, it's, like, you know, they help out sometimes. Because we know each, well, we know Ichika goes there a lot, so I'm assuming Renji and Rukia go with her, I would assume. But either way, yeah, super cool stuff, super cool chapter. I just want to ramble about it for, like, 20 minutes. I know it was very unstructured. I haven't done a chapter review of a manga chapter in, like, five, four, five. Four years now? It's been years since the last time I did a chapter. A chapter to particularly of something like Bleach. When I've never been super knowledgeable on. Like, I don't remember the names of like, any of the Espada. Holly Bell? Oh, is Holly Bell still in prison? I don't know. So many questions to be answered. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave it a like. You'll be seeing some. Oh, oh yeah. A One Piece catch-up video coming out very soon. My One Piece catch-up video will be out probably uh, Monday or Tuesday. Probably I'm going. To, I'm on the way right now, so I can't do a live stream. But what I can do is I can record myself re reading, uh, doing a One Piece catch-up, and just post it. It'll be like really nice, really long, just solid video. And then I have a couple other videos planned. I'm really getting back into this whole video thing. Especially with uh, a lot of the shows I like. Especially because I kind of fell off for a while. I wasn't picking up new stuff. But like, you know, New Bleach. My Hero's solid right now. I'm in the process of catching up. And One Piece, same thing. I, I fell behind on a lot of these shows. So I have to do catch up. But yeah, super excited. Hope you guys enjoy. Tell me what you thought of the new chapter of Bleach. How excited you are for the new arc in the comments section down below. Uh, check out my PayPal. It's in the description box down below as well. You can follow me on Twitter. Have a love, guys. Have a great day.